Hey there guys, it's me Craven Jay, and welcome back to Cherry Witched. So we know the deal. Yeah, we get it, blah blah blah. The kids come here often, blah blah blah. Where do kids come from? Blah 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 blah. Uh-huh, I think you've seen by now who likes to come out all the time to spend here now. Hey, the truth is blah blah blah. I didn't think you had a sister, blah blah blah. Little sister Lottie, blah 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 blah. Let's meet the little kid, blah 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 blah. What's school? Lottery, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Okay, let's try this. Huh, what did they do? This one's for a lot. I just want to see if she had any sort of thing. Call a hunt, I suppose. She didn't feel it as a point. I think I'm gonna get hurt. Why? Why? It's just the same thing. Point, 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 point. I hate you. And this time. So we'll do the school, then we'll do the other one. Well, actually, we'll stay with all the bottom ones. Am I, am I on the demo? Am I might be on the demo. Hold on. That was smart. You're fine. Top, bottom, top. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I found this, I think I found this, hold on. Okay. So I think it's top, bottom, top that we have to do. Alright. Okay, so we just skip past this. Any grumps around here lately? Alright. And then we have here. Did you hear what this did? Huh? What did they, what did he do? Some giants claiming to be the everlasting. Tried robbing one of the council members. This wasn't true at all, actually. I just want to see if Trey would have any sort of strange reaction, and she sure did. Call the hunter, I suppose. Cherry, not failing to disappoint. Looked like she was about to choke on her own drink. Really? You've got to be kidding. To do something like that? She took a deep breath in. That's just horrible, awful. Did anyone get hurt? Thankfully, no. They imprisoned the sucker behind it, though. Cherry looked like she was about to say something, but quickly closed her mouth. If I picked up one thing about her, it's that blah blah blah. Something here, something here is obviously wrong. Just talking to Cherry like this felt like the world's most casual interrogation. <laughs> I was finding out a lot of things. Things that ended up, that added up. Things that may, made me have more questions. Luckily, I have the time necessary to get a little, a bit more information out of her. Sorry, Pa, you haven't touched your slice yet. Is something the matter? Trey looked concerned. Shite. I can't have her catch on to me. I laughed it off, telling her I just enjoyed her company so much I forgot to eat. Meanwhile, I'll grab my fork to eat some good old pie. I took a bite. The cherry flavor filling my very senses. This doesn't taste like a normal pie. Did you try a new recipe out for your pies? <laughs> you can say that. Did she cook? Did she? Did she kill the lemon thing? 
I'm starting to feel strange. Dizzy. Discombobulated, even. No. I was beginning to grow drowsier and drowsier by the moment. You, you didn't. Oh? Oh, wow. That's a bloody mess. My head was pounding the second I regained consciousness. Before I could even... Oh, dear God. <laughs> okay. Before I could even try and get these old muscles to move, I realized I was tightly wrapped in some sort of rope. You don't look like you're in a rope. No. Could these be vines? You don't look like you're in vines. Ah, there you are! Turning my head, I was greeted by the face of my captor. My instinct was to use defensive magic. It a simple blast of energy to push her away from me. But the second I tried, nothing happened. Not even a speck of sparkles, dust, or any of that crap. You, what did you do to me? Oh, nothing serious, I promise. I just slipped something in your pie. The fellows have been working on a magic blocker. It's just even stronger than the ones you cancel, which is folk use. That's a problem. I pinched that, a little bit of mild tranquilizers, and lots of sugar and trees to hide it all. Mix it all up and ta-da! I'll be right where I want you. Are you gonna kill me? Oh golly, no, of course not. I just wanted to have a little chat, that's all. Of course you do. About what? What a- yeah, what about- what about how you're killing witches? You're- you're a part of the everlasting, aren't you? Aw, uh, don't look at me like that. They're really not so bad. They're criminals, Charlie Pie. Killers, thieves. And that seems you are too. <laughs> Your words hurt, Inquiry. And after everything I've done to try and save you too. Nah, nah. I gotta have patience. Soon you'll understand. Soon we'll be together and happy for all of eternity. What? You always do my favorite customer inquiry. Being my little friend group. It's a necessity for me. A life of chaos and torment with no end is just my fate in this world, I'm afraid. But you were always kind, always warm to me. Whenever you came in that life I once had paused. I was able to be a normal witch. Just a cute little cafe owner, flirting with a lovely lady. Baking pies, making people smile. With you, I finally feel like I can live my life my dreams. Can't wait for you to come by only on your breaks anymore. I don't need to be able to call this place your home. That's a little bit freaky, lady. That's a little bit freaky. I, I'll pass. You're not my type. I'll pass. <laughs> I want to be able to call myself your wife one day. Ugh. I'll make you coffee every morning, just where you like it. I'll keep you kissed every night. Yeah, like I said, Liddy, you know my time. Together, we can be a perfect picture as a couple living a happy, normal life. That's all I want. Do you tie up and drug everyone you ask how invade it's very far? <laughs> no, you're the first. The only. My one and only. This girl's absolutely lost her mind. Yeah, 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 well no dust, Sherlock. <laughs> look, I'm uh, flattered, but... But... There was a look of fear in her eyes before I could even finish my sentence. Her eye began twitching as I took my next breath. I really should be careful with my words here. I'm sure you're wonderful, but your workplace and my workplace, it just clashes a lot, you know? Look, just let me out of here and we can chat about this more. <laughs> I'm sure you're fine that they don't clash as much as you think. For an organization that claims to care about life, nothing was really done until your little inventor witch friend went missing, hmm? What about the spider witch? The lily pad witch? No one cared when they disappeared. Not one of you was sent out to look for them. The Council of Witches only care about the little specialties they dream important. If you find the others along the way, it's just bonus points. 
You all are just as indifferent to the death of others as I am. <laughs> a ringing noise can be heard from the other room. Uh, another customer is here. I'll be back shortly, okay, my darling? I'll have more time to think it all over. Cherry Pie skipped out the door. A clicking noise behind her and decayed. She locked it shut. You lose the opportunity to place in front of me. I started to try and bend and break the vines, holding my wrists captive. Twisting them off as a struggle, I'll admit, but nothing I haven't dealt with before. Once my hands are freed, my next move is to cut the rest of the vines off using the knife of might. Demot! Trey took all my belongings out of my pockets. My communicator was in there along with my other tools. So much for being able to call for help. I'll have to find out where she put them before I'll be able to make my escape. Awkwardly wigging out of the wiggling out of the rest of the vines, I was able to get a better look at the room. It surely wasn't eerie sight. There must be something in here that could unlock the door. Nancy Drew style, I see. Yep, we're all we're all going Nancy Drew style here. <laughs> Dare to play. The giant chest in the room caught my eye. I'm not sure it would be in there, but it's worth a shot checking. Bodies? Some sort of like was it? Did I, did I actually guess it? Neatly dressed, life-size tall legs. Interesting. There has to be something in there that can help me escape. Heads? Rummaging through the tools and cleaning products, I found what looked to be a pale orb at the bottom of the box. Once I man managed to once I managed to dry out the arm out of the box, but it's clear to see the arm is fake, plastic. Most likely some sort of mannequin prop. Hmm. <laughs> I have a doll arm, a pair of doll legs. Maybe something will happen if I put them back in place. Let's do it. <laughs> Upon placing the doll limbs in correct places, a strange noise ringing out, ringing throughout the room. Simple enough, I suppose. With quick, swift movements, I lock the door. Just trying to get out of here, the better. Exiting that nightmare of a room, I immediately stumble into a kitchen of sorts. This must be where she makes her pies and other assorted baked goods. An eerie silence of the room contributed to the atmosphere of impending doom. But listening closer, I realized it wasn't entirely silent. I heard a faint feminine crying sound coming from somewhere in this room. It almost sounds like a child. Oh wow! As someone is trapped here, I have to help them. Is it in, is it in here? They're crying. It's coming from the side. Of the, the oven. Okay. Hello, someone in there, do you need help? I heard a shaking voice speak back to me. But please, let me out of here! I I'm scared! Damn it. There's some sort of lock on this oven. Don't worry, miss, I'll get out of there. <sighs> Thank you! That poor thing. I better find the key to do it fast. There must be somewhere in this room. Is it in there? I opened the cabinet, but it was all meth and an array of pots, pans, and other miscellaneous kitchenware. Even digging deeper into the very back, I found nothing of use. What do you think of that? That looks so good. Dang, I'm hungry. But I don't really exactly trust any of the food in this place, so either. It's a cookbook! With a variety of enchanted desserts. Looks like Cherry wrote in most of the recipes herself. The further I look into the cookbook, the more morbid the recipes became. Should come, people. I decided to close the book. Anything in there? There was something glistening inside of the vent key. I awkwardly crawled up on top of the counter on top in order to try and get the better peek. It looked like a metal metal key ring with the key attached to it. This could be why well, I need to get that kid out of there, but it's just out of reach. 
Looking at the apron hung neatly, I could use something strange about it. I picked up the white cloth and inspected it closer, noticing it was heavier than I thought. Hmm. I dug through the pockets by an odd magnet of sorts. Strange, why would there be a magnet in there? Use on the key. Yeah, this is like Nancy Drew. Magnet in hand, I crawled awkwardly on top of the kitchen counter. Once placed nearby the, the vent, I heard the metal, the metallic side of the key ring, dragging the keys closer towards me. Nice! I got the keys. Opening up the oven, I saw what I feared. A small, a small witch shoved inside, crying her tiny eyes out. I reached her hand out to her, which she hesitantly took, and pulled her out of the oven. Hold on. Is this a prequel? So thank you. She appeared nervous, which isn't surprising. She looked incredibly young. Besides being in this situation, I would have anyone. She looked incredibly young. Besides, being in this situation would have anyone fearful and weary. But now that I think about it, I recall Trey mentioning having a sister around her age. This couldn't be her, could it? You're welcome. Do you have a name? Strawberry? Oh my god, I was. Oh my god, I was right. <laughs> Cameo! Uh, um, my name is Strawberry. I just got it. Witches aren't always born with the names they currently use. Often, when a witch gains their specialty, they change their name to match it. It's not always the case. It's not always the case a witch will change her name, but it's the most common thing nowadays. Ah, uh, a strawberry witch, I see. Congratulations on getting such a sweet specialty. It's nice to meet you, Strawberry. My name is Inquiry. I was the Council of Witches. How did you get down here? Uh, uh, my sister, um, is Trey Pyre's sister? Y yeah, she's my big sister. I am. Um, I'm not supposed to be here. I remember hearing strange noises from upstairs. Sister never told me to go down here, but I thought she was struggling with something. I only wanted to help, so I went down and found her in the, the kitchen. Flashback cherry pie. Strawberry! Flashback strawberry. Cherry! What's happening? I told you not to come down here, sweetie. Go back upstairs, okay? <laughs> I, I'm in the middle of something very important. Ha! Ha ha! Ha! Very funny. Cherry? Cherry didn't seem like herself. Sure, she was saying nice things, but... She looked so scary, I just froze. She was all twitchy, twitchy and giggling, and I didn't know how to explain it. <laughs> Time to go upstairs now. I have important business to attend to. These pies don't bake themselves, do they? But you, they smell like blood. Are, are you hurt? Strawberry. Strawberry, upstairs. But, but I don't get it. Why do you smell like blood if you're not hurt? She laughed. She laughed a creepy laugh I had never heard before. It was so scary. And then she grabbed me and whispered, "People like us were meant to be eaten, Strawberry. It's simply rearranging the circle of life." But wait! I'm sorry. I'll go back upstairs. <laughs> this day isn't too important for me. That was when she locked me in the oven. Please let me out. I, I just want to help. I don't like it here. Ha 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 I pr I promise all will make sense soon, Strawberry. I, I kept crying out for help, but nothing happened. Good God. Until you help me. This poor girl, Trey really has lost her mind. She's no longer aware of this. Severity of her actions. Severity of her actions. I need to get this child to safety as quickly as possible. Thank, thank goodness the oven was off. Yeah, well done. 
I see. You're awfully brave, Strawberry. There's no need to worry anymore, alright? I'll get you out of here and make sure you're safe. I you for a warmer smile and extend my hand in hopes to cheer up Strawberry. Well, okay. Thank you very much, miss. She squeezed onto my hand, taking a deep breath in. I decided to move onwards to the next room. My communicator must be in there somewhere. Walking through a door leading out of the kitchen, we found ourselves in what looked like a cherry-themed waiting room. Oh, is that cherry lemonade? Is it what now? Strawberry's eyes lit up with excitement as she rushed towards the drink dispenser. So, Strawberry, wait. We're not sure... We're not... We don't know for sure what's in that. It could be poisoned. I put a hand over on her shoulder, which seemed to stop the girl from getting a drink. It was a sad sight to see the child frowning about me. But better safe than sorry. Suspicion grew in my mind as my eyes scanned the room. I was m it was more pleasing to the eye compared to the last two rooms I've encountered. I highly doubt this room is that innocent, though. If you're using investigation skills to see the lemonade is safe, can you let me know, Miss Inquiry? I'm thirsty. Investigation skills? <laughs> if only my magic actually worked right now. We would have been out of here already. How about after we get out of here, I'll give you a big glass of whatever drink you would like, alright? You just gotta hang in there a little longer. Really? You mean it, Miss Inquiry? Mm-hmm. Of course I do. Unless, of course, you don't... I, unless, of course, you don't want anything. I want something. I want a big glass of lemonade. Or a milkshake with whipped cream or sprinkles. Interesting. <laughs> Maybe trade one. Strawberry stopped talking mid sentence. A tense of silence filled the air. Miss Inquiry, what's going to happen to Cherry? Is she going to be okay? My heart sank. I do feel bad for this girl. She's going through so much all at once. She's going to be okay, kiddo. There's no need to worry. Why is she acting so weird? I don't know. But I promise you, we'll do our best to figure out why. Okay. Just as fast as it darkened, her mood and demeanor brightened up again. What a strange little girl. Keeping a close eye on the strawberry, I began to search through myself. Uh, oh! I've always wanted to read this book. Really now, what's it about? It's about a wolf and a bunny who fall in love. <laughs> okay. Interesting. I read the first few pages in my school's library. The book itself doesn't seem suspicious. Maybe it was supposed to be a gift for Strawberry that Cherry hadn't given yet. A Cherry theme clock is ticking melodically. <laughs> if we weren't in this situation, I think it was Charmel. I approached the door with caution to see if it was unlocked. The second my hand touched the knob, however, I heard a familiar sound coming from the mirror. Howdy! <laughs> oh, okay. Huh? Cherry? This is a premiered message that goes off when an unauthorized person is sent in this room. Say a little... Silly little meat pie, you're not supposed to escape. But meat pie? In the off chance... In the off chance that you are authorized and this was triggered by mistake... Whoopsies, if you know me well, count all the things you... Count all... Count all the things you love about me, heh <laughs> Toodaloo, meat pie. Don't worry now, you're going to be a part of the everlasting. Ah, interesting! Slowly two large metal things rose from the hole of the mirror once was. It's not strawberry. Shite, this is bad. Hey, look at me, please! I don't want to be a meat pie! The strawberry, hold- hang on, I'm gonna get you out of there. Help, please! The metal arms are squeezing strawberry tire and tire. This is bad, I need to throw away to disable the trap. 
and fast. What was that trait said at the end? That has to be a clue for their everlasting members. I have to do, I have to do something, say something. Trait is clear, it might be the only one I have saying strawberry. 100. I shout out an inspiration. Oh god! Is this the clock? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I love the deafening crunch right through my ears. Strawberry, no. I, I failed. Jesus Christ. Even is there the shoot? Why the hell? Oh. I got the second ending. My God. So eleven. <laughs> 